your first real punching drill uh, that's going to be more live partner. Or this is called a leading drill. Basically, the idea is in, in a fight, the person that initiates an attack is considered like the leader, or he's leading the attack. So the first person to throw that jab or whatever, and then the other guy counters, well, that guy who threw the jab is leading. So this is a leading drill to teach you to be able to, to fire unexpected shots. Because we don't just have, our hands aren't up to where all we have is a jab. We've got our hand, if we leave our hand down, which you can have your hand up, but you can also have it down to where you can fire a jab, you can fire a straight punch, you can fire a back fist, you can fire a palm hook, fire uppercut, you can fire straight to the body. All these without any sort of telltale wind up, no pulling back to back fist. It's just here, boom! It's hard to tell the difference between a back fist and a straight punch and a palm hook until it's almost there. And it probably looks really goofy. I'm demonstrating this with focus gloves on. So let's go ahead and work this. Mike's going to come in. And to begin with this drill, when you're just starting out, just go ahead and kind of preset it. All right? You're just going to run through, uh, well, let's run through straight punch, palm hook, uppercut, and back fist. We'll start with that straight punch, okay? So he's going to have that lead hand down. Go ahead and, and drop that hand. So he's, he's got that lead hand down, so I can't read what he's going to come with. And I'm just going to have this here, and he's just going to work, boom! We're going to move around, like treat it like it's a, a fight, okay? So we're moving around, boom! And for the sake of the camera, we're not going to move a whole lot, but when you're doing this with your partner, move around, try and corner your partner, whatever. Um, try and maintain a distance where the guy has to move. I don't want to be here with this right now, okay? Because the idea is if I'm in range to hit him, he's in range to hit me. The idea is this, is right here, I'm in safety range, I'm going to use that push shovel to explode into that range where he's at, okay? So again, we're starting with straight punch, I'm here, boom! Yeah! So we just move around, boom! Good! Now we'll go ahead and take back fist. So that hand's down, lead hand's down, he's just going to snap that back fist up. Boom! Good! Now we're going to take a uh, palm hook, right here, boom! Yes! So, boom! Yes! So he push shovels in, and pops that hand, boom! Good, nice Mike. Okay, last one's the uppercut. So here, boom! Now, here up. So boom, yeah. Push shuffle in, pop that hip up. Boom, yeah, there we go. That's what I want right there. Boom, yes. Okay, so that's going through moves. Then, if you want to make the drill even more complicated, you start using these as flashcards, okay? I recommend, because if, you know, there's two punches that go for this hand, two that go for this hand, and so if you, um, if you mix them all up, it can be hard to really read what your partner is going to set. And so if you want to make this a reaction drill, I recommend just picking two punches. So let's say straight punch, palm hook. Okay, we'll just start with that. So straight punch and palm hook. And I'll, we're going to be moving around, and again, for sake of camera, we're not going to do a lot. But move around with your partner, and when I said that, boom, he comes in with that straight punch, right? When I said that, boom, palm hook, and he's not going to know when or which one I'm going to set. So, you know, we're moving, and, you know, we're here, and then I'm waiting, I'm waiting, boom, he fires that straight punch. He's going to fire the moment that opening shows up, because if this were a fight, and my hands are up here, and then all of a sudden, yeah, let's, let's say all of a sudden my hand drops for one split second, Boom! He fires that. Boom! Before that moment's lost. You know, if I'm a guy and I'm kind of moving like this, if I'm a fighter that kind of moves like this, he times that. And the moment that hand comes down, boom! If he waits, if he waits when he sees this opening, my hand's already going to be back up here. So this is a reaction drill. The moment I set that glove, boom! He fires. The moment I set this glove, boom! It's hit. Okay? Let's go back fist and uppercut. The moment I set that back fist, boom, hit. The moment I set the uppercut, boom, done. All right, we're going to go ahead and work on some lead hand combinations with some of the punches that we've been working on. So I'm bringing Daniel in, okay. and he's going to hold for that lead straight punch. Okay, so we're going to start. We're going to start first with a uh, lead straight to back fist line. So I'm here. I'm going to push in and. I want to bring in the footwork into this too. Right now, developing our footwork is very important. So 
Um, if I'm attacking somebody, there's a good chance they're going to be trying to get away anyway. Hopefully, that's what I would hope anyway. So, um, when I come in with my lead straight, he's going to go ahead and just take kind of a, like a step and slide back to open up the distance. And he's going to turn that for a back fist line. My lead straight is going to set me up for that back fist. So now I'm just going to take another step and slide and send that back fist out. Okay? So I'm here in my on guard position. I'm going to go lead straight, back fist. Alright? And I'm chasing him back with that. So I'm here, lead straight, back fist. Good. Let's go one more time here. So I've got my on guard position. I'm going to go lead straight, back fist. Good. Now we're going to go ahead and play with that palm hook that we we're doing. So we're going to go lead straight, palm hook. Again, he's going to be moving back on all of these because I want to develop that footwork. He might stay right where he's at, in which case, go ahead and stay there. If I'm here, I would just go right into the palm hook right here. But I don't want to. I don't want to play with that right now. I want to play with the guy moving back so it forces you to have to put your footwork together. Okay? So, and just take your time at first. Just kind of, you know, go, go slow. Make sure you're doing the footwork properly. And then start speeding it up. So I'm going to go straight punch. I'm just going to step inside back. Ball hook. Okay? It's going to take a little bit of time getting used to being able to generate power with that palm hook while you're moving forward. So again, I'm here, straight punch, palm hook. Alright, one more time. So I'm here, straight punch, palm hook. Good. Okay, next we're going to go back fist, palm hook. Okay, and the easiest way to feed this is you just hold for the back fist and when they hit that, you just put the palm hook right in front, okay? Or you can hold this one out, and when they hit that, you just kind of move it over. So I'm here. I'm just going to turn it slightly out. So I'm here. I'm going to go back fist, key steps, palm hook, okay? So again, this all comes back down to my hip. This is one of the advantages of having the lead hand low. If I, if I go back fist and I come back here, now I've got to circle out for that palm hook. So if I'm here and I go back fist and I bring it here, I've got to circle out. So if I start with it low, now I can shoot it right off the hip. So I'm here, I'm going to go back fist, palm hook. Okay, still using my push shuffle. Again, back fist, palm hook. Good. Now we're going to go palm hook to back fist. Alright, so I'm here, I'm going to go palm hook, back fist. You notice this one kind of sets up really well too. I'm here, right off the hip, Palm hook, back fist. Let's go one more. So I'm here on guard position. Palm hook, back fist. Okay? Now the last one, we're going to combine the whole, the whole series. Okay? We're going to go lead straight, palm hook, back fist. Actually, we'll, first one, lead straight, back fist, palm hook. Okay? So lead straight, back fist, palm hook. Okay? And again, we're using this to develop a comfort, comfortability with our footwork. Okay? So I'm here, I'm going to go lead straight, back fist, palm hook. Okay? One more time. So I'm here, let's go there, some of that. So I'm here, lead straight, back fist, palm hook. Good. Now we'll go lead straight, palm hook, back fist. Okay? So here, Lead straight, palm hook, back fist. Good. So, lead straight, palm hook, back fist. One more time. Come here. Palm, palm, palm. Okay, guys. Awesome. So, go ahead and play with those combinations. And uh, again, the emphasis is on the footwork. Make sure you've got that down. As we continue on, it's just going to be assumed that you feel comfortable with moving forward, moving back, while in the middle of punching, kicking, all that stuff.